Okay, YouTubers, this is Nick here again, PGH Train Fanatic, bringing you layout update number six. And uh, some things have changed, not a lot, but there's some big changes, little big changes, I'll say that. I uh, made this handmade bridge. It's uh, made to represent the Roberto Clemente Bridge in Pittsburgh. And um, it's a suspension bridge. It's not finished painted, being painted yet, but uh, like the road surface and the cement piers down there are done. Everything else is done in yellow parts. Um, I installed this Lionel bridge with a flasher instead of a, uh, having a girder bridge. Now it's a expansion bridge, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I did paint this bridge black. It was brown when I got it. Um, I started to put some city buildings that are Pittsburgh city buildings back there, like the PPG building and the, what's now the UMC, UPMC building, formerly known as the USS Tower. Um, I got this Bachman town hall back there, trying to paint that, did a little bit of work with that. Uh, that's pretty much it on this end of the layout, but here it is, big surprise. Wow! Look at that! Blast furnace! It is sick! I'm gonna step back, show you a full room scene. So you can get a whole idea of what everything's looking like so far. I'm gonna walk over here again and show you uh, the new floodlight tower there, lighting up the yard area around this thing. It is sweet. I still have a little bit of painting left to do on it, but I still wanted to make this video. It is awesome. Like, see up there, that black part needs fixed on it, but other than that, I'm real happy with it. I bought some bags of uh, iron ore here to put on there. There's me piles of ore down here. What this is here, as I'll explain a little bit, is this is a, a skip car right here. It takes the iron ore and the, the coal up to the top of the furnace dumps it in up here and the furnace does its job and then on the inside there's uh, two tubes there for each track one tube does the hot, uh, hot metal and the other does the slag and um, also I forgot to mention I, I installed these switches one back there for that line um, this one created also that one and then so I got three uh, short lines over there. I'm still in need of uh, one here and one down here to create the final crossover. I'm also going to show you um, that's the SD40-2 right there. Some new. Uh, I'm going to show you some new rolling stock I got. This is an MTH Premier hot metal car. The number 52 on it. The rum. The drum rotates on it. Um, this is a silver one, identical, except this one has the Pennsylvania Railroad logo on it. And um, I think they're pretty sweet. I still got to get slag cars though for this blast furnace. Uh, also, this is a uh, Lionel Standard O Norfolk Southern box car. I'm real happy with that. The door's open. It's full scale. And uh, save the best for last over here. It is the MTH Premier Pittsburgh Industrial Railroad flat car with the SW1500 switcher on it and I'm um, thinking of naming my railroad that right there the Pittsburgh Industrial Railroad I think it's pretty sweet you know I think we'll make it official that's the new railroad name for my railroad right now Pittsburgh Industrial Railroad I'll be changing it over to that and uh, this thing's pretty awesome. It's removable. I'm not gonna remove it right now, but it does remove. And um, you can run it right on the track uh, with the rest of your cars, and it's pretty awesome. So, um, the blast furnace, pretty sweet. I'm gonna show you a little inside view of it. How it's painted up on the inside. There's uh, piers up in there, supports just like a real building. I don't know if you can see them. I don't see what the camera is seeing right now, but if you can see it, that's great. 
I am going to put some lighting in there and some maybe some lighting effects like flashing lights to make it look like there's being worked on being, being worked on inside of the building. And um, right now I'm going to end this video with uh, a little shot of the trains running around the layout. Show you them in action. I have that crossing turned off right now, the volume on the, the, the flashers do thing. Oh, I forgot to mention this car too is new back here, it's a New York Central uh, Reefer. It's a Lionel Standard O. Do a little uh, simulated drop off of the hot metal cars for you, real quick here. And uh, I, I, I thank everybody for watching my videos. I hope you all enjoy them. Um, in the future, gonna hopefully do some more video editing to make it a little bit more realistic, rather than all this talking and shaking of the camera while I'm trying to hold a uh, the uh, handheld on my hand. <laughs> Go, just dropped off the hot metal cars in there. I'll show you real quick how um, you can go around the other side of the layout here and, and get onto that other line that also goes inside the uh, blast furnace. And I'm, I'm going to name that blast furnace, um, I think maybe just plain old Pittsburgh Steel. I'm going to make a little name. It, it's going to go right up in there. It's going to say Pittsburgh Steel on it. Okay guys, thanks for watching, I appreciate all your comments and uh, look forward to hearing from everybody.